Oh my god, that's sick. They actually don't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper. I've never had that crack before in my life. So tight and guarded. <laughs> that was a crunchy crack. Now there's tension here. That feels good too. No way. <sighs> wow. Oh. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. Last time we talked about some exercises to reduce the self-cracking. Yes. How's that been? Have you, have you tried them? I started yoga. Okay. Just, like doing it every day. Any changes in your digestive system since doing that? Um... No sending, I don't like, think. I mean, I did start drinking like protein smoothies. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I feel like those are better for me, and I take like a a probiotic every day with a probiotic sh like shot, a juice shot. How's your head? How's Good. your How's your energy levels? You feel clear? Yeah, I feel a lot better. I actually like it's easier for me to like get up in the mornings. Okay, how's this thing feel that usually hurts you when you're chilling? Um, it's kind of tight over there. I kind of feel like everything you've been touching has been tight. Yeah, this is over left shoulder blade too. Is that tender? Yeah. Left TP, uh, this is a, a, this is a contact reflex point for the gallbladder. And also a contact reflex point for the liver. So we'll have to do some investigation over there. Down here in the SI joints, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, left versus right. Last time we had right in the upper SI. Right or left here? Um, they both hurt. Both. I think right's worse. Okay, let's go down to the lower. This is where the chronic pain and tenderness was on the right, lower, left. Oh, they're versus, both bad. Excuse me, right, lower, right. They're both bad today. Yeah. Both bad in the sacrum. Lots, lots there with the, with the driving. Okay, let's relax. Right or left or same? Right. This is for the, uh, the ileocecal valve and the liver release. We need to release this later with the gut. Yikes. Is that my liver? <laughs> is it because I was I drinking this week? I'm yes. On this right here. Let's see, can you do that now? Can you untuck this way? Which way? This way? Go f yeah. Is my posture getting better? Yeah, it's better. Really? Yeah. Let's put a little bit of space in between your feet. Straight on, it's perfect. No deviations of the hip at all. No internal or external rotations. That's improvements from last time. You can still see your feet working really hard though. Okay, looking at the glute folds here, tracing up from the bottom, almost perfectly even there. So there's not a whole lot of rotations in the pelvis. This is the hypermobile side on the right. The lower right SI joint was fixated last time and then the left, we adjusted the left SI, L5, S1. Got higher on the right, consistent with that short leg on the right, but the glute fold is better, it's even now. Push up against me here. Two, three, four, five, two, three. Second right pad, left or right or same? Uh, right I think's worse. Left or right or same? Same. Left or right or same? I think left's worse. Left or right or same? Same. Left or right or same? Oh, uh, same. Okay, so we have that yeah, one. Yeah, that one. And this one. Yeah, those ones hurt. Okay, let's do this one here. This is the third on the left first. Okay, that was nice. <clears throat> Just feel that crack? Yeah. Still tender? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not done yet. We're gonna have to contact it on the back too. All right, arms out like an airplane again. Same worse. Um, it's better. Still hurts though. Nice gentle breathing. You got any more relaxing here in the shoulders? You talking about any more relaxing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my relaxed. Okay, nice gentle. Can you breathe through your nose right now? It's stuffed. It's stuffed a little bit. One, 
to main tenon is there. Yeah. Here. Uh, not really. Left side, same as last time. Tender? No. Tender? No. This is even now? Yeah. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. We're gonna follow the breath down. Okay, let's get that try. Deep breath in. No. Let it go. Good. Gentle, gentle breathing. Good. Okay, this time on the in breath, when you get to the top of the in breath, we'll give it a little push. Let's give it a try. Deep breath in. Good. And now. Pull your belly button up to your spine. Like pull your belly button up. Good. Now let that go. Good. Terrible. Still terrible? No, not that good. Oh. Breathing. How's this guy still tender? Nope. How's this guy still tender? No. A little bit? No. All right, go like this. Lift your right leg up in the air. Down. Left. Down. One more time. Let's do the right leg. Down. Again, right. Down. Left. Down. Which one's more difficult? Which one's more difficult? Mm-hmm, all the same. Uh, I think they're close to the same. Ticklish. Breathe.
This side's not as bad as the other side, right? Yeah, that's Shoulders relaxed. Breathing. Breathe. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, now this is the too cracky side, okay? This is the one that cracks all the time. It's hypermobile. First, we'll get the easy ones out. They're just like responding with sniffles, and now you're like, it means okay. <laughs> one sniff is yes, two is no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna adjust the lower SI joint here. That's the part that's stuck for you there. Okay, but the easy ones crack first, like this. That's your L5. Okay, not as bad. Really? Yeah, last time it was super clunky, clunky a couple times as soon as I pushed into it. Okay, nice and gentle. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And out. Good shoulders coming up this way. Oh, wow. Lay your back. That was good. I adjusted the lumbar here before. We're gonna do that one again. Nice and gentle. Gotta go and take a deep breath in. And out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Okay, let this leg come out just a little bit. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. Wow. That was good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice and gentle.
Ooh. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was good, but there's one more. Good head, head dropping with this drop here. Good, way down low at the bottom. One more time, shoulders relaxing. Pretty good. <laughs> nice. That was good. Ooh. It's tender, right? Yeah, really bad. Yeah. This is liver. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. We're going to hold these two points together. Still tender? Yeah. This is okay here, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Still tender? Yeah. Deep belly breath. Belly breath. Belly breath. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to test the, uh, Tenderness of your pubic bone, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, left side, for, right side first. Any tenderness here? Yeah. Hold on. Any tenderness here? No. I'm going to manipulate your jaw from the inside, okay? Uh-huh. Stick out your tongue. Okay, put it back. All right, open your mouth. Close your... Close. Tender? Yeah. Breathe. <laughs> that was bad over here? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's a little bit tender. Okay. You're gonna push down, push push towards me here. Okay. First, go like this. Push. Wait. Either way. way. Yeah. Uh, push. Go the other way. Push. Go there. Relax. No way. I've never had that crack before in my life. 
Oh. 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 Wow. How's that feel? Good. How's that one feel? That feels good too. Okay, here's the test though. How's that one feel? They, I, I could like, oh, they actually don't hurt. Yeah, this guy, this one. Um, barely. This one. Nothing. Hmm. Breathe in through your nose. Again. Whoa. Okay. Push right here, hard again. Nice. Uh, I've been having back pain for years uh, after cheerleading. I get ocular and hemiplegic migraines, so I lose my sight and then kind of mimics a stroke. How long have you been under weekly chiropractic care for? I've been going since May. All right, and so, okay, we're just talking about it, okay? I'm not doing anything about it right now, but I just want to talk about it. You don't like, it's usually, <laughs> you, you don't like to get your neck cracked. So the chiropractor doesn't crack it. He cracks it. I don't like twisting of the spine. I don't like twisting of my neck at all. I don't like you pulling up on it, but he will do it like this. And that is okay. Have you ever had a bad experience with those? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, it was a previous chiropractor that I saw. He almost tricked me into getting my neck cracked in a way that I didn't want to, where he had me like hang off the table and he was like one, two, and then like twisted my neck. And from that point on, I just like stopped going. It was just a little bit traumatic to me. Sure. In that case. Mm -hmm. Okay, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Uh, they look basically symmetrical. There might be just a little bit of um, hesitancy. Go turn around, keep going, keep walking. Just keep walking, okay? okay. Maybe a little bit of hesitancy on that on that left mid stance for the arch to completely come down. Okay, but uh, mostly symmetrical in the gait cycle at the foot. I don't see any internal or external rotations at the level of the knee. No genu varum, no genu valgus. Okay, looking at the hip swing, it looks very symmetrical from left to right. I don't see any deviations, if not the slightly restricted moving to the right. Yeah, there is a little bit of decreased arch on the left side, more so than the right. Go turn around and face the other way. Good. I don't um, There's no bowing here of the Achilles tendon, but this left arch does want to come down. Okay, you can let your fingers drop. Okay, we have a high right hip. Let that relax. High right hip and the high right shoulder. Okay, so just observing the spine first, let's look at the level of the scapula. Higher left. Okay, let's check the hip height again. High right, high right hip, high left shoulder. And high right mastoid. Let's see if we can just you can see the high right mastoid there. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Okay, nice and gentle, I'm gonna to touch your back now. Did you put lotion on your back this morning? <laughs> Nice and gentle. I'm going to do a temperature evaluation with the back of my hands. Okay, pretty consistent and smooth temperature reading all the way from top to bottom. 
there's the most amount of heat is coming from right here. It's actually above your thoracic at the bottom of your neck. And then it's pretty consistent all the way down. Uh, moisture content, hard to read because you have lotion on there, but it doesn't feel like you have any excessive dryness or wetness. It is pretty consistent. There's a little bit more tension in the paraspinal muscle on the right side here. That's where it hurts. Okay, pushing into the spine. Good, nice and relaxed, breathing. Tender? No. Ticklish? That is where it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's a li probably a little bit higher. Yeah. Yeah. This is the site most epidurals come in here at T12, L1. Yeah, that's a sensitive area. How about this one? It's one of the, it's like right at that point. I'm not, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so this is the middle of your shoulder blade. This should line up with your the middle of your ear right here. Yours is about an inch forward. So like you've corrected it just a little bit, but I can tell when you walk and when you sit and when you're not paying attention, your head moves forward. It just like kind of wants to go that way. Here, bring it back. So like, I know this is uncomfortable, but tuck your chin back. Good. And like, I know that sucks right now and it feels weird, but like after some good adjustments and after you practice your posture for a while, you can stand like this and it would feel great. Terrible. Not the worst. What'd you say? Not the worst. It's um oh, definitely a little bit more tender, but okay. Because they're really the primary areas of tension that I feel. Or six, C six, the bottom of the cervical spine. Now there's tension here in this spine, but there's nothing jumping out at me and saying that I absolutely have to crack it until I get to here. Yeah, so, that part's a little bit more tender. Good. I would agree. And then right around that area, yeah, as you get lower, this one. it is sore. Yeah, two primary areas here in the thoracic spine. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? Ooh. That was a good crack. Uh, no. Right in side joint, there was a crack there, which means that uh, the sacrum was posterior. Good. And the left side. Any pain, discomfort there? No. Good, we're gonna push into L5. Any pain discomfort here? Mm, not really. A little oh. discomfort, but it's okay. L4 here. No. L3 here. No. Last one, L2, we won't go any higher than this. No. Good. We already know that L1 is sensitive. Not too bad when I'm pushing on it now though. Yeah, I just, it? it just it like shocks me. Okay, I'm gonna push down into your lumbar. Left, right, left, right. You feel one more than the other? Right, more. Yeah, I feel the right side too. Do it again, right? Down. Relax completely. Left. Down. Definitely my right. Right's easier? Yeah, I feel like it has more muscle. It doesn't feel as like forced. Okay. So that points to the left SI joint being the primary. We've identified that as possible hypertonicity. And um, okay. So in, in, in the three techniques that I blend to analyze your pelvis, they all are saying different things, okay? It, which doesn't usually happen. Usually at least one verifies the other way around.
We're gonna follow your breath out like this. At the end of your breath, we'll do a little push, okay? Okay. Gentle, gentle, gentle as I possibly can. Good sinking in. Good, gentle, gentle. Nice. Silent. Centering, gentle, gentle. One more time. Gentle, gentle as I can. Okay, following the breath. Sinking in, shoulder, let the shoulders go. There it goes, just like that. Good, good. Just holding it for a minute, just so you can get used to that pressure right there. Good, sinking in, let the shoulders go. Good, gentle. Hold the slouch though, keep coming down, keep breathing, breathe. Good. <laughs> and with the breath, as you breathe out, your shoulders are gonna come up this way. See if you can let your shoulders give just a little bit. Good, loose. Good, and then your hips I'm gonna bring down like this. Good, you're holding just a little bit of tension. So we're, there it is, that was a perfect release, Michaela. That was so good. Just do that one more time with the breath. Let's feel it, deep breath in and out. Good, with the breath, let it all go. Shoulders, let, they go, let, them, let them go. Good, that was better. Okay, you're ready for a push now, okay? Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good, let the shoulders relax here. Good, let the hips relax. Good, sinking. Good, letting it go. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> what doesn't hurt as bad? The side of my back. Okay. I think it feels okay. I don't know what to think. Okay, process it. Are you in pain right now? No. Okay, but you're you, but you still feel resistance to it, right? Yes. Okay, it's okay. That's okay. I, did I expect you to transcend into <laughs> like this ultimate guru who just loves to get everything cracked in five seconds? You know what I mean? No. You still have the same discomfort that you did when we had the conversation. You're doing great. Keep processing it. We're here to process. Okay, you had a past traumatic experience. Okay, you are right now reliving those neurons, but also making different connections to them because your neurons know that you're not in the trauma because we already acknowledge that it's not in the past. We're staying present in the moment. Being present in the moment keeps us away from experiencing it like we did at that time. You already know this because you've done this work before. Mm -hmm. okay. And then all you have to do is breathe. The breath is the key to being present and letting go and sinking into the, into the moment. Good, that was good. So let's try, that's perfect. Just that same breath right there and then sinking and letting it all go. Good, shoulders, good. All right, turn to the right, center, left, center. Right ear to your shoulder, center, left ear to your shoulder. Unlike your low back, okay, your neck, you know, your low back was super, super complicated and, and all these like crazy things, but your neck is actually very simple. It's like the most simple adjustment that I do a hundred times a week. Okay. <laughs> the swallow before the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay to be scared. Like, I, the, what you've told me and how it happened in that moment and and um, that all is perfect for what it, what's happening right now, what's showing up right now. And so like a lot of times what happens is like if something traumatic happens in the past, 
and then we we reinforce it you know what i mean like you like you said like i don't like my neck getting cracked you know what i mean all you've been doing it all these years is just reinforcing that past trauma okay but i know without any doubt in my mind that i can adjust you right now and it will not hurt and i also know that i can adjust you and wait for the precise moment that you are relaxed and ready to be adjusted and if that moment doesn't show up, then I won't adjust you. you know what I mean, if you're absolutely so tight and guarded, but see, you just let go just there. I wasn't even telling you to let go or telling you to relax. You're already doing it by yourself, but you're also fighting it in your mind. You're like, <laughs> I want to be addicted to this fear because fear, just like many other emotions, creates a, creates a, a cascade of neurotransmitters and hormones and all these things happening in our brain and whether it's good or bad our brains get addicted to it it's why we trauma bond and all we really have to do is try and i don't even actually have to crack your neck or push into your neck but we would at least have to try to like set up on it and then if it doesn't show up in the moment that you're supposed to get adjusted i won't push and that's it you're not going to twist my neck? I'm not going to twist your neck. No, no twisting? No twisting. Okay. Differently. We're not twisting, but it's a lateral flexion here. Okay. So it goes down to the side. All you're doing is breathing and sinking in. Good. Feeling the spine. Feeling where it needs to be adjusted first or just there. Right. C5. Okay. Gently sinking in. Letting the shoulders go. Good. Letting the head drop. Shoulders and head dropping. Good. So keep your eyes closed. There's nothing to look at out there. Just helps you sink into your breath a little bit deeper. Good. And letting it all go. Good. Let the head drop. Shoulders. Let your hips drop. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. <clears throat> all right. Okay, did it hurt? Not physically. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, good. Also, too, the, the, the emotion that's coming out is laughter, too. You're smiling, laughing. Oh. Even if it is a nervous, anxious laugh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> relief. Relief. Okay. Hand on your chest. You're mm. holding your heart. And sinking. Letting it go. Good. Letting the shoulders go. One more time here. I'm fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> push, 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 Did it do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was a good release. There might be one more. Let's see if it's still there. Yeah, there's one more. Good deep belly breath right here. Painful? A little bit. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, fine. It's fine. Really double jointed. I don't know if it makes any difference. What do you mean they're double jointed? Show me. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's sick, dude. It's gross. <laughs> no, it's awesome.